Hello. Welcome to the third ever installment of Mysticast. I'm Ron Burgundy. Put that on the teleprompter. I, I, all right, just kidding. My name is Gentry Lee. No, I'm Gentry Lee. Are you challenging me? There can only be one. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Now for a random fact. You should all know that I'm a pretty big deal. Speaking of big deals, Kevin Gutman brings us a report of the spring musical put on by the drama department. The spring musical this year is Blood Brothers, a play about two brothers who are separated at birth and are reunited later on. Um, dear old mommy dearest here uh, has twins and cannot afford to keep both of them and gives one of them away. That would be Edward. He grows up uh, with a rich family and I grow up in her care. Um, Poor. <laughs> Shanna Havard had a supporting role in last year's play, Comic Potential, is now the leading lady as Mrs. Johnstone, the mother of the two boys. Well, I certainly don't look at it as being a star. I mean, I... We do. <laughs> you're, you're a star. <laughs> you're a star. Thanks, Jimmy. That's nice. Uh, it's certainly a lot more work. I'm kind of starting to freak out about memorization because on top of all the lines, there's all the songs, and haha, -ha, they, I have this one song called Marilyn Monroe, it reprises three times, and every time the lyrics are different, but it's like the same melody, so that's kind of freaking me out a little bit, but. Jimmy Gaffro plays Edward, and Gentry Lee plays Mickey. At one point, the brothers are shown as seven-year-old children, stretching the actor's range. Well, that's where uh, my, my natural ADD comes in handy. Um, I can forget what I'm doing almost instantly and just assume the next role um, without much focus. I mean, it's, it's great. I, I can go into the seven-year-old. You'd be, you'd be surprised how like I am to a seven-year-old when it comes to my, my, inner, my inner mind. <laughs> I feel like I can really feed off of him well, so I'm kind of thankful he is the way that he is, so. <laughs> he sets you up sometimes. Yeah, yeah, thankfully. Otherwise, I think it would be a little bit, it, it just really takes away from the awkwardness of having to change ages so drastically. See, I told you, I'm a pretty big deal. Now leading right into our next story, Skylar Schneider shares why the auto body program at BSC can offer more than just knowledge. I'm Ethan Bennett and this is Auto Collision. Pretty much anything, small blend repairs, full paint jobs, rollovers, um, anything and everything. The shop, it's just like a regular body shop, it's customer vehicles, people come in, we give them estimates, they put it down on a list and then as soon as we're ready for them we call them and they'll uh, bring them in. We could bring our, our own vehicles and get first priority. If we buy a, a builder, you know, something that's wrecked and we want to bring it in and fix it, we'll get first priority over, you know, customer vehicles. I don't know, you get to do something different every day. Um, it's a lot of work, but like once you get to that finished product, it's always worth it. So you got to create something totally different and you get your own, you know, artistic ability on everything, you know. Um, that's why I like to do like the restoration type stuff, rust work and, and full paint because then you kind of can do what you want with pinstriping and I don't know, it's just, it's fun. One of the first trucks we did this year, we did a buddy of mine's lifted, he had a 92 Chevy. We did a full repaint on that, um, changed it up on color, mixed up a custom blue for it and you know, did some pinstriping and, and tint work and, and all that kind of stuff. Coming out of this program, you have a lot of advantages that even a lot of painters that have been doing it for 20, 30 years don't. Um, like this facility here, we actually have the capacity, we can spray waterborne paint, um, which is kind of new and upcoming. You know, I took two years here, I got a business degree, and uh, kind of wanted to follow it up with this, and I'm definitely glad I did. Help me. Stay down. We'll be right back after these short messages.
I have seen 33 Thanksgiving dinners sitting on these walls. I caused hyperactivity and headaches in a small child. A baby was born with nervous disorders because of me. I slowly created hearing problems for one unlucky individual. I have seen many loads of laundry done as I watched a family grow. Our owner experienced muscle and joint pain. This little girl grew up with memory and concentration problems. Lead can affect the body in many ways. If not detected early, children and adults can suffer the symptoms mentioned along with damage to the brain and nervous systems, slowed growth and behavior and learning problems. One out of every 11 children in the United States has dangerous levels of lead in their bloodstream. There are easy ways to prevent these. A simple blood test can detect lead levels. If your house was built before 1978, regular cleaning of your house is necessary. Washing hands often, eating nutritious, low-fat meals high in iron and calcium will help, among others. Taking these simple precautions can help you live a lead-free life for you and your family. I told you to stay... Oh, welcome back. Have you ever had an awkward shower experience? Well, one college student sure did. That was most interesting. Well, last week was sure an exciting one, if you happen to be a celebrity. I now send it over to Eric Maragos with more. The Oscars, where everyone has an opinion and everyone's opinion is wrong. On February 27th, all of Hollywood's biggest stars gathered in the hopes that the words Academy Award winner would be added to their title. I will go over the big wins of the night if you wanted to hear who won Best Makeup, well, you should have watched it yourself. The first category I'll recap was Best Actress in a Supporting Role. The winner for this award was Melissa Leo for her role as the trashy mother from the movie The Fighter. And she decided to stay in character for her speech when she accidentally threw out the F-bomb in front of millions of viewers. The winner for Best Actor in a Supporting Role was also from the movie The Fighter. Christian Bale won for his amazing role as Dickie Eakland, which I agree with fully. Another supporting actor who deserves some recognition was Benjamin Millipede from The Black Swan. There was a scene where he is asked if he would sleep with this year's best actress. He says no. Now that's acting. Natalie Portland was the winner of this year's Best Actress Award for her amazing role in The Black Swan while the best actor went to Colin Firth for his role in the King speech. Next on our list is best director. 
I was hoping for my man David Fincher to grab this award for his job on the social network like he did in the Golden Globes. But Tom Hooper, also from The King's Speech, took home that Oscar. The film The King's Speech was basically unheard of by most Americans before this year's Golden Globes, where it swept up most of the awards. And it did the same at this year's Oscars, taking home many awards including Best Picture. Now back to you. Yes, very exciting. And now for something completely different. Commercials. I'm away straight. If you want to lose weight, tone your body, and gain some energy, or just have fun working out. Dance to the rhythms of Zumba, a fun way to sculpt your body without realizing that you are working out. The Aquatic Center now offers Zumba classes on Mondays and Wednesdays at 5.15. Dance to the rhythms of Zumba, a fun way to sculpt your body without realizing that you're working out. The results will make you feel guilty that you look so good for simply having fun. So that about wraps things up here. So yeah, the end. Finn, show over. Turn off your TV, leave me alone.